Hi dear friends and welcome to episode 32 of my Evil Empire series season 2. I'm Icon and oh my god we we got so much work to do around that ship. First up we we'll get to uh, uninstall those rocket engines. Yes you got me right uninstalling those rocket engines because they were wrong and nobody told me. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I guess a lot of people don't even know how to uh, use this mod. So, um, long story short, um, engines can live outside of your ship hull. They they don't go inside. That's a little bit um, easy to understand after I thought a moment about it. But uh, as a matter of fact, that's wrong with this ship. So, I figured... We're gonna change that first. It also opens up new cha uh, chances of uh, changing things on my ship because, well, we have to open up the hole, basically, a bit. But um, I wanted to re -in, um, rearrange the rear section of the ship anyway, so happy, actually. When I discovered that, I was more happy than unhappy. So let's uh, let's go. The first few things I want to do is make sure that uh, I'll uh, replace the unpowered ship hull with powered ship hull, because you know, I guess powered ship hull is just better. Um, there's a medical goods trader. Whatever we might want with that. Um. First, need to find the trader. The Tsar is the trader. Okay. Got it. Alright, maybe I can press out some money out of them. But apart from that, I don't expect too much from this caravan. They have Neutramines for sale. I'm gonna buy them. I'm out of Neutramines. I'm completely out of Neutramines. Take some cigarettes in return. I like that. And, uh, well. Some flake, too. Mass production here. We got plenty of that. Oh, never mind. You guys will not receive the flake. We got addicts here in town. No, no. I'll just sell uh, a few of those Trumbo horns. Just happy if I got, can't get rid of them. Low shield pack. What? Surprised about that. Spine. We don't. We don't work with regular um, implants. Gives me a unwell feeling. So, or an unpleasant feeling. I wanted to say, sir. <sighs> Well, I just buy some medicine, I guess, to make this deal a deal. I don't want to say uh, no to that deal because, you know, some medicine is really good. Always like to uh, restock up on my medicine um, whenever I can. All right, so um, we got allies with the Exodus Empire and the Hotdo Alliance. Well, the Hotdo people don't really like me that much anymore. So um, how about, uh, where's the Tsar now? Just gonna make some iffy presents. Recoil wants to hide in his room. Yeah, whatever you do, man. Er, where's the traitor of that lot? It's always the same problem, but uh, well, there's a simple solution to that, but uh, it was just lazy, you know. Here we go. So, since those guys uh, don't like me enough for my taste, I'm gonna make some gifts, starting with those nutri paste meals, which will expire soon. We're gonna give them some opium. Oh well, that flake too. Those thrumbo horns, very good. Tequila. Mm. Well, they won't be accepting any other presents. Picky traders, I'm new to that problem. Yeah, whatever. Um, 22 uh, points of uh, extra gift um, value are good enough. And uh, well, now I need new silver before I can um, 
go for bigger projects. I also installed a life support system because I figured, well, life support sounds vital. So uh, meanwhile, Freeman is busy building the hydroponics. I'm not going to interfere um, with the plantation uh, program here until she's done. Because this time I plan on uh, configuring them all at once. And my idea was I want to go for potatoes first to rack up massive amount of camp fuel for a few cycles. And after that's done, I'll uh, swap over to cotton to uh, produce more money here because that's just a... Uh, money printing machine. No, you won't rest before that's done. Sorry about not being sorry, Freeman. Perfect. So all I'll need to do now is to configure it all at once. Easiest way of uh, changing the plantation plant. Uh, plan. So, potatoes for now. Lots of raw materials in here. And uh, very, very soon the tier 3 me uh, robots are being finished. <sighs> That's gonna be good. So, well, I didn't do everything wrong with this ship, but there are a lot of things I would do differently next time. That's for sure. I was wondering, um, I never tried and, uh, yeah, well, I can't build ship hull above, uh, uh, on that, okay. Just wanted to make sure. It's really not possible. Sometimes things are possible and, uh, you don't realize it. That's a shame. So, wow, they really hate their stay so far. But it's awesome at Alpha 1, I guess, somehow, after you get used to it. So, column, let's do another steel one. Just want to construct one in the middle of the room to make sure the uh, eating hall is not going to collapse on itself. Goodbye, hot dough people. You were good for some money. So, the amethyst is almost depleted here. Making progress on the iron too. Not making progress so much on those sculptures though. But one thing at a time. Muffalo chicken wool, smelling salts, yeah yo. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. All right, what would Freeman do if she was rested? Just want to check out um, what her business will be. Yeah, we're uh, very, very afflicted with uh, mechanites uh, as well. That's another thing. Relaxing. Okay. Come on, get done. Sky high expectations. Look at that. Yeah, she's now building these uh, areas here. So we're going to see some action on the ship um, now, I guess. I totally agree with the, the um, focus on, on the hydroponics there. It's uh, perfectly fine. But uh, just wanted to make sure nothing else is... Uh, gonna be done next so yeah just uh, decided that I want to have powered halts on the rear section wherever I can not sure how useful that'll be but uh, well. there we go
I haven't fully uh, understood yet uh, how to work around with um, heat in the ship and how to get rid of it, especially. But well, one thing at a time, I guess. Oh, come on, Freeman. Your job is not done here. So, let's replace that with a ship hull. No, you're not tending to people. Other people can tend to each other. The mechanoid plague is not your problem. All right, new pieces of ship hull. I'm not entirely um, unhappy about what happened here because I did derp the um, options of uh, ship engines anyways, so I wasn't building the uh, engines I wanted to use because I at least want to go for a real rocket engine here or two, something like that here, boom, put that. Mm, I like the idea. So two rocket engines here, and if necessary, I can stock up some uh, on some more here. So I've seen people just uh, dropping airlocks in front of uh, the the engine units to make sure they are accessible from the inside of the ship. So things are progressing just fine, except for some people being dazed again. But uh, well, usual th uh, stuff happening. So Lumpy, um, Lumpy the artist is supposed to be uh, not too busy with handling animals. I'm gonna assign Sweet Pea to that. It's okay if Brit does that. I don't have too many animals at this point. Um, ah, look at the Hot Dough Alliance guests. There's guests again. These guys, they're basically living here. So, Brit's father and uh, Brit's grandfather. So let's check them out. Nudist, Wimp and Lazy. Jeez. And Moffat? No. Also no Alpha 1 material. You know, relatives I at least want to check out if they are uh, interesting people to be recruited, you know. There we go. Solar Flare over. I just, I have a strong dislike towards uh, Solar Flares. So here we go, airlocks. So there's still a lot of uh, titanium here, and Lumpy is finally doing the art. Wonderful. By now, I plundered quite a nice uh, amount of stone. I wasn't aware of that. All summit crabs. <laughs> All slain summit crab leftovers. Okay. Good stuff. I'm very happy to have a few neutramines uh, back again. But I notice one thing. My uh, plant work seems to be a little bit... Oh, uh... uh, well. Uh, I'm gonna put Brit on that job again, you know. As much as I like it uh, to have an extra scientist, right now the um, hydroponics need so much attention, it's really, really important. So, advanced logics, nah, somebody has to build that stuff too. Robotics, uh, no, prosthetics, tissue printers. Let's go for these uh, fancy projects. Okay, so let's check it out. 
I'll need um, for an intermediate robotic matrix. I'm going to need 10 robotic components and 10 and two gold, uh, 10 gold, two advanced components. So robotic components need silver, steel and regular components. That's all. Okay. So rather uh, um, rather uh, harmless uh, cost, I'd say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tantrum. Okay. Just smashing stuff in her room. All right. It's really important to take care of those tantrums, you know. Pots and insects. Uh, what do you guys want from me? Neuroformer. Hmm. Psycast without obligations. I like that. Plasma cutter. Hyperweave. Architect lung. But 33 hives. I wonder um, how this will go now that I got the uh, sonic infestation repeller. Significantly removes the infestation risk. But uh, 33 hives on an open field will just level my base. I would need to uh, set up some some choke point fight and uh, I don't know. I never liked the, uh, this kind of combat. I really try to avoid um, large melee attacks if I, if I can. Artifact trader. Okay, never had that. So the first artifacts are a few fish and some sweets. Oh yeah, you guys buy my crab. Oh, artifacts, I mean. Um, well. A few of these items are even uh, kind of good. Seriously. So, them got robots, but uh, not really some good ones. Okay. So, uh, seems like it's yet another um, visit of people I'll uh, strip clean of their money. Got it. I mean, I'm happy with that. Crystal glass. Nah, I want to keep that for some special occasion. Um, seriously, are we that low on everything now? <laughs> Usually I have uh, not too much trouble selling off things, but uh, okay, then, uh, then I'm selling off some of my valuable chem fuel. It's just I want that money. I want that money so badly. Because right now, large amounts of money translate into large amounts of steel. All I need to do now, once I hit the 10k mark, is to uh, summon another trader, and then we're gonna be good to go with that uh, with that stuff. And um, speaking about which, uh, no, 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 we're gonna call the Hot Dough Alliance because I feel like it's time for. Well, mining companies seem to work too, as I have realized as, uh, lately. Mining companies seem to give you um, the necessary items as well, and uh, I knew there was something between this and the last episode, so let's crack open some insectoids. Let's go! Um, gonna bring Freeman because she's just uh, quite good at jumping away. Oh, and let's uh, set that door to closing. There we go. So, where are you headed, beasties? Few of them are going for the door, of course. Oh, that will that will result in a breach. No. No breach. Okay. So we're gonna be waiting for them beasties over here. Let's fast forward and uh, see how many of them actually make it um, into the base. 
None. Alright. Seriously, none. Um, I'm gonna bring my crowd and uh, destroy the uh, the little one, little guys there. I think you can keep those larvae and uh, tame them and uh, put them to some uh, um, actual use for your people. If I'm not mistaken. They'll just uh, die in those traps. And if they're not gonna die in those traps, um, they're gonna be um, ripped down by my turrets. So I'm really not the least little bit concerned here. Defenses of Alpha 1 are sh pretty strong by, n by now. My holder! That's of course uh, the occasional death uh, of a hauling bot. This is never um, fully avoidable. Well, it is fully avo avo avoidable, but uh, not if you're uh, reluctant to configure uh, zones like I am. So, you bad boy. What up with you? Dying in seven hours. Right. See ya! Alright, we got that. Frog is dazed. Don't care. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, that thing is just uh, running around. Meat, 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 meat. But it's gonna be uh, falling down before it meets some meat. Allow everything and, uh, well, the plunder behind that. Well, a few components, a few units of steel. The steel is not that much of a trophy. I mean, right now I'm sitting on, what, 3k steel? Ooh, kind of depleted. Oh, L. Sweet pea is actually un still drafted? That was never my intention. But okay. Yeah. So, uh, looks like the pyro doesn't find anything to ignite. <gasps> Don't you dare. That's why I like pyros in general. They're so easy to uh, handle, as long as you have somebody uh, on your feet. Pyros uh, spell doom the moment you are in a crisis and they uh, decide to go on a uh, fire starting spree while nobody is on his feet. That's when uh, they are really problematic. Okay, life support system. That's that. Mm. I figured that the uh, generator here will also need a uh, capacitor array. I don't want to use the ship capacitor if uh, there's uh, such a powerful battery available. But maybe we're... Well, oh, whatever. We're going to put that array right next to the generator. I don't know if that's smart, but... The uh, evil empire will learn to build smarter. Um, will learn to build smarter with experience, just like I will. Okay, so um, Lumpy is uh, busy, I guess. Alex and Sweet Peace relatives are here. Well, I don't care too much about them because these are actually my uh, refugees. Uh, no, my AHR people. And the hot dough people and the Exodus Empire hit town at the same time, and uh, I'm in a lack of lack of beds. My God, who would have thought about that? I certainly didn't. Oh, they were gonna hate their stay. No. Seriously, what I'm gonna do about that? I don't have any extra beds here, so uh, siege. And now the. A relative of Sweet Pea arrives to siege us, while other relatives of Sweet Pea are here as guests. Interesting situation. Alright, arm the mortars, fools have arrived. So. Seriously, that's gonna be fun. I always like sieges. Only if I have mortars myself, but if I have mortars, sieges are just fun. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's see if we are uh, gonna get a lucky shot in. So. Ah, uh, well, that was nothing. 
That's been a no hit. Let's see. Uh, uh, I destroyed their rations at least. So let's see. Oh yeah. We got it. I didn't need more than that. Now they are assaulting the colony and that's uh, basically the trigger you're waiting for when uh, this kind of event goes down. So, the plunder will be um, some explosive shells. I think that's more explosive shells than I invested, but only barely. So, let's check out where uh, they're going to attack. They're going for uh, multi-angles, but uh, most of them will arrive here. So... These guys, they uh, they won't be making it. Uh... Whoever tries to enter here won't be uh, reaching the end of the road. I got, I've taken care of that. I'm not sure if uh, these guys won't be. Uh... Well, there's not too many traps left, so uh... we might be seeing actual conflict this time. It's mostly because these guys uh, got a lot of uh, armor um, on them, but uh, no. They just decided that uh, Alpha 1 is not worth it. Oh. Too bad. So uh, let's, let's, let's check out the Riggles. Who's uh, not dying too soon? Uh, they're all dying so quickly. Two hours. Oh. Pity. There's no wriggles here. A doomsday rocket launcher? Oh gosh, I'm happy I, I'm going with my defense plans as I do. Wow. Here, Bell. Bell is one kind of person we have to save. She's gonna be a new recruit for us if she's gonna be able to survive, that is. I mean, people. Having uh, the guts to uh, attack me with a uh, Doomsday Rocket Launcher, they definitely uh, um, um, deserve my attention. And if they are even transhumanistic psychopaths, what can I do except for saying, come on in, you? So. Alright. Prisoner work and recruit. It's gonna be a little bit of a long uh, trip, but that's okay. Well, Myers, um, was that, uh, my kin Myers died. Okay. She's taken that, uh, relatively, uh, neutral. Only a minus four. I'm used to way, uh, heavier impacts there. So, Long story short, I'm very, very happy with the amount of traps on my base. Not gonna roll with less traps than that, ever. <laughs> really made the day. Um, the traps basically were the main reason why none of these guys uh, took their rocket launchers and uh, fired them into my base, and I'm very, very grateful for that. You know, I don't like rocket launchers uh, aimed at my base. So, let's uh, drop down some iron tiles. And... That's gonna be the cafeteria, or something like that. Um, Bell is infected with uh, an infection. Um, Olsen. Is that something I can approve? Yeah. Got so many good doctors here in Alpha One. I always uh, feel happy about that. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I already got the first uh, robotic components uh, done here. Nice. 
Oh, I can't wait for my uh, tier 3 crafter to be done. It's going to be very, very uh, cool. So, folks are buying flaky flake. Can't wait for um, the... Uh, what's it called again? Um, the trader arriving. So... Ah, I can't repair the robot because my my component stockpiles are too low. It's been a while since I had that problem. Anyways, friends, it's time to end today's episode. Sadly, it's been my pleasure. We uh, we had kind of uh, kind of a lot of action today. I mean, siege and uh, insectoids. Gotta say, Alpha One is uh, well fit to uh, fight off most of those threats quite easily. I don't mind that, honestly. Um, I don't want to crank up the difficulty here. I could, but it would not really um, make uh, too much of a difference. The um, quests I'm having no problems with, I would be uh, still having no problems with, and the stuff which nails me down would uh, nail me down even, uh, even more. I've been there, done that. There are just a few events which are way harder than uh, other events. Like, uh, the siege here was not really a problem. Anyways, enough of the ramble. Thanks for watching. I always already mentioned that, but I want to say it again. And as usual, leave comments, leave likes, leave subscribes. I'd be super happy about your support. And I hope you had a great time. And see you soon. Bye-bye.